It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's just Mom. I'm a grown woman. I can make my own decisions. Yeah, not like she can drag me back or anything. Oh, shit, she totally can. Ugh. It's hard to be calm, okay? You don't know her, her history, or what she can do. I am nothing compared to her, and I... Shit. I probably should have told you more about her. No, it won't be fine if it goes bad. She used to be one of the strongest demons in hell. She retired, but even now she casually says she could slap Satan and Lucifer around if they piss her off. The only one she can't beat is Dad, and he isn't here to help. Tell you about what? Well, it might calm my nerves. Okay, um... Oh, I know you like that whole fantasy thing. I once ran into this half-orc. Well, she ran at me with her sword, shouting something like, You foul demon, get your claws off my ranger. Uh, I mean, yeah, I was on top of her ranger. Charm spell worked like, well, a charm. But, uh, that would not have worked on her. They say she's half-orc, but judging from those muscles and aggression, I'd say she was more orc than human. Sure, I could have won if we were to fight, but look at me. I'm a lover, not a fighter. She would really have tried to kill me. Just like Mom will. Ugh. I'm more nervous for this than my first night with you. <laughs> yes, both of those nights. Get your mind out of the gutter. Oh, that's... I do like your hugs. I know you're just trying to calm me down and... and it's working. Yeah, we'll manage somehow. <laughs> well, this is just adorable. If I wasn't convinced, it was all planned out. Um, hi, Mom. Don't just stand there. Give Mommy a hug. Oh, let me have a good look at you, sweetie. They grow up so fast. I remember when you were just running around, nibbling on my tail whenever you could. Mom, not now. Oh, I am sorry, honey. Don't want your plaything to know. I get it. You, come here. I see. <laughs> oh, no need to introduce yourself. I know who you are. Call me whatever you want. But if I had to pick, I do like the name Rhea. Unlike my foolish daughter here, I don't give out my true name. I would have erased that memory from your mind. Something also seems to have slipped her mind. <laughs> yeah, um, whoops. <sighs> yes, I would love some tea, darling. Plenty of sugar. I see she taught you some manners. No. <sighs> Your mother. I see. Well. This mommy can teach you some things, too. Mom! Could you not? <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. Old habits die hard.
All right. Enough playing around. You think this plaything of yours is your faded one? They are not my plaything. <laughs> Whatever you say, dear. You know how extremely rare those are. I only found your father after a few hundred years, and that's the fastest to date. That doesn't mean they can't be. You just can't stand that I found mine faster than you. Oh, sweetie. I don't care about that. I just don't want you to make a mistake when you're this young. I went through a similar phase when I was young. Thought I found my faded one. Hmm. I can still remember what it felt like to be embraced by her forearms, wings folding around us. Good memories, but they weren't my faded one. When we decided to bond, she died, and I nearly did as well. Thank you, dear. Hmm? Me too? Oh. Okay. I'm not that nervous. Hmm. I do like it sweet. Now, come sit between us. If I know my daughter, and I think I still do, she hasn't explained why this whole thing is such a big deal. Uh... I, um, uh, might have, um, forgotten that. I was too focused on Mom. Right. Well, um, you see, souls are created in pairs in what we call the Soul Forge. It does exactly like the name implies. It creates the souls. Those souls are then released. These rarely go to the same place. The multiverse is quite big, after all. No, not like soulmates, as you humans call it. That's just someone that feels similar to your faded one. Enough to be content and happy. Don't get me wrong. For mortals, it's great, but for our kind, it's a bit different. If we bond with our faded one, we don't have to feed again and, well, in everlasting love. Because you're with who you're supposed to be with. Our partner would live as long as we would and get a few more benefits. Just being near me would make you immune to certain influences, for example, even without being bonded. Don't get me wrong, we can still feed. Mom here still snacks on occasion, but there's no need for it. For us, it means ultimate love and freedom. We don't have to go and gather energy for both our job and to live. Plus, the amount of energy we get is just massive. Oh, yeah. The normal amount when taken is enough to feed us for, like, six hours. When it's given... It's roughly double that. When there's, well, love involved, it's at least six times more and it would feel warm and pleasant to receive. With faded ones after bonding, I don't know how much, but it's a lot. It's not like you lose more energy each time. No, it resonates within us and we, uh, kind of amplify it. I know it sounds a bit weird for us, and it's weird for you to have to eat animals and plants to live. You need to work on your presentation a bit more, honey, but that was the general gist of it. The more energy we have, the stronger we are. I still remember fighting Lucifer to a standstill. Those were the days. <laughs> oh, that's how we can test this whole thing. It's been a while since I've had a good brawl. Uh, no, um, no thanks. 
I'm not much of a fighter. Oh, that's a pity. Oh, and you forgot to mention that if they are not your fated one, they will die if you try to bond. And you could, too. I know they are, Mom. They have to be. It feels... right. I get so much energy from them. Hmm. We'll see. But for now, tell me. What do you feel about my daughter? Hmm. <laughs> yes, she is adorable. Bit of a dork at times. Definitely fun to tease. Babe. Come on. And yours. Ooh, well, aren't you a bold one? Claiming her in front of her mother. <laughs> I think I'm beginning to really like you, human. Uh, what? Maybe I will make you mine instead. Oh, no. So how about it, darling? Don't listen to her. Focus on my voice and mine alone. You know what you want. Me. Anything you want, I can give you. Anything she can do, I can do so much better. I taught her, after all. I can show you so, so much more than I have. Come on, baby. Just accept me. Go for the mommy. I know you want to. I'm yours. All of me. Every part of me. Yours. Look at you. Trying so hard to hold back. Just let go. She knows you won't go for her. Because you're mine. <laughs> Mom? Are you using pheromones? That's cheating! <laughs> oh, honey. All is fair in love and war. Isn't that what they say? Hey, look at me. Oh, their eyes are almost glazed over. Look what you did. I held back, honey. Your plaything will be fine. For the last time, they are not my plaything. Just wait here, okay? Now get something to snap you out of this. And don't you dare do anything while I'm away. Oh? Was that a threat? I... Uh... N no? A request from your... cute daughter? That's better. <laughs> you know... I am happy she isn't like her sadistic bitch of a sister, but she's a bit too soft at times. Great ass, though, right? She got that from me. <sighs> anyway, now that she is out of the way for now, I've got you all to myself. And I wasn't kidding when I said I was beginning to like you. But it's not just that. Your energy that you give off is... exquisite. If you were to become part of this family, wouldn't it be wonderful if we got along? So how about you? Let me have a little thing. Oh, still playing hard to get. Even with everything I've thrown at you, you still resist my charms. I don't know if I should be impressed or annoyed. Now, don't move and let me get a sip. Strange. What are you? 
Get away from them. <laughs> Babe, get behind, quick. Did you just strike your own mother? I won't let you have them. They are mine. I don't care how strong you are. I, I will fight you if I have to. <laughs> you really are bearing your fangs to me. Finally. Oh, sweetie. You have no idea how worried I was that you never retaliated to anything your sisters did to you. But now, you stand your ground against me without backing down. Despite knowing it's hopeless for you, you still do it. My little girl really has grown up. You... you're not mad that I hurt you? Oh, honey. I barely felt a thing. And I'm not mad. I am furious. I'm happy you managed to grow a spine, but you dare strike me. Now, looks like I need to punish someone who's overstepped their bounds. <laughs> I may have fucked up. Maybe. You should get out of here. Sorry, babe. No. Are you ready to pay for it? <laughs> Who dares to... <sighs> Honey, what are you doing here? <laughs> huh? What? Dad? <laughs> oh, you know I was going to hold back. I was just... <sighs> okay. Fine. You're too soft on her. Now I'm all bent up and got nothing to... Well, you're here now, baby. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm done here. My charms didn't work from the moment I tried them. Didn't even hold back on those. Yes, I am very sure. Now, you're coming with me, darling. Wait, what just happened? I thought she... But then she... I thought you were a goner. No, I am just as confused as you are. I think she approved? Wait, she said her charms didn't work on you from the start. So that means... You are my fated one. That's... That's great. Now I can finally... be with you. <sighs> I am... done with today. <laughs> Holy beef. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Satan, no. That's our room. Our bed. Oh... Ew, ew, ew. I don't want to think about it. No, this is the worst. Oh, I am so, so sorry about this. Ugh.